Hey guys, Tomboy61, and today we're talking about Arena. Now, last Friday I published a little video uh, saying the three ships that I was planning on using in this upcoming coming Arena season, and to my shock, there was a huge number of you that told me, um, well, Gerser Kunfest should be the one that I should be using. Tommy, you shouldn't be using Conqueror. It's all about the GK. And I was like, man. Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. And then I decided to give you guys the benefit of doubt and actually try it out. So uh, I decided to try it out. I'll go ahead and show you how that went. Yeah, so uh, not really that well. Uh, I have to say, not my greatest moment. I definitely d gave up some positions on the scoreboard this weekend in order to try to validate y'all saying that the GK is the best ship for Arena. And I do understand why, because there are definitely some strengths to the Gross of Let's go ahead and talk about them. One, oh boy, those secondary batteries. And uh, when you can get them up to 10 kilometers and... You feel great, and you know what? I feel like this is the best chance for you to use a grocer because there's four teams. You're inherently closer together to those teams than anywhere else, so you have the ability to actually use the secondary batteries where I feel like sometimes when you take out the GK in regular matches, it is a struggle to get within secondary range, so I understand the appeal to using the grocer, but I let me just tell you, I could not, for the life of me, pull a good game in the grocer this weekend. Um, my only decent one is this one right here. Cause I, yeah, it was, it wasn't pretty. Uh, but hey, we, we have a wonderful time. We're gonna go ahead and go up against a, uh, a conqueror and then we'll match up against someone else. We did cut out the first good quarter of this match because well, it was four battleships steaming towards two heals. So you can imagine how quickly that went. So other strengths of the GK beyond the secondaries, of course, it does have that sonar, which doesn't last that long, but it does have it. Uh, you will see me, I completely forget to use it sometimes just because I'm not used to having a battleship uh, have that sort of firepower or equipment uh, on it. it. Just, you know, it's one of those things you forget that the, the German battleships do get that beautiful German sonar. Mind you, like we said, it's only for like 45 seconds, which is not very much time, especially when you look at the the ship's uh, turning speed, it's, its rudder shift is so slow. It's so slow and it turns so slow and it makes me, it makes, it just makes me, I'm like, no, no, you can know that there's a threat and then you can't do anything about it because it takes a kilometer to turn around. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous, this, this ship. I, 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 uh, yeah, like I said, not, not really, um, a big fan. Anyways, Conqueror right there. We are chasing him down with prejudice. Of course, we're not being too judicious about the angles we need to maintain because, well, we have full health. He is kind of down. We want to be able to get those secondaries going just so if they can go ahead and pop some damage, get some damage over time going onto the Conqueror. Uh, it will help combat the fact that he has two heals just like we do. And that's kind of the name of the game of kind of just trying to whittle him down. We can see it looks like he's using will to rebuild or something, but it's in fact just his ability to heal back. Of course, Conqueror also has that ability to print a brand new version of himself. One of the nice things about uh, the, the heal back thing is it does kind of remove the ability to uh, to have that damage that gets healed back. So there is limited times that the Conqueror uh, may be able to actually use those full health, but we can definitely see he's clawing back some of that damage and we're trying to knock it back down. He's already back up to a quarter. Yeah, he's he has the money-making machine printing and he is printing a brand new ship. But we can see our uh, the enemy battleship kind of won his duel and now he's kind of coming over here because, well... I don't blame him. He's going to third party because, I mean, there is only four of us, so he does kind of have to kill one of us. And, well, if we're fighting each other, that means we we won't be at full strength when he comes by, which means he should be uh, easy picking. So we're kind of just waiting. We do take a massive hit 
right there from i don't know if that was the enemy gk or the conqueror of course yeah the 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 enemy ship is going to be a gk the match was two gks versus two conquerors and the gks i'll spoiler alert are the ones who end up alive in the end just because well we I, we do do pretty well and we can all see this conqueror not using using the he to his strength like i would recommend though when you it does get kind of difficult because you kind of have to go for those knockout shots when you have the double heals especially with the big battleships and you only have one source of damage it is it does get a little difficult in order to will it down but the conqueror we are making progress we're, we're up to 100 we've taken 183,000 damage out of him which is absolutely impressive like that is a good chunk of damage to have, have taken we can all see we're taking shots from the enemy battleship it is weird he's able to spot us but we're not able to spot him there we go it's probably just because we've been firing so we have our detection angle anyways we finally finish off that conqueror he is now sunk our secondaries are actually the ones that end up finding him and now we need to get away and we need to heal because well we can heal back all of our health we know that enemy battleship has had the time to rest to recover to be to kind of be out of the fight and to heal up and we can see he is a full health gk so in order to better our chances against this guy beyond just us ramming each other and going for the draw we need to get on out of here that's why we did the full turn we're going to try to get that island between us and him once we get the island between us then we'll go ahead and make the turn in and try to close the distance because we are going to have to brawl it out right one we can't seed a to him he could absolutely come back and take a and win the match that way so we do have to push him but we want to do that in the safest way manner safest way possible and also make it so that well we have time to heal because we are absolutely going to need it we see he is turning in kind of doing the same plan of getting behind that island and hey i am not going to blame him but i mean he's at full health he has the advantage at this moment and him giving us this time is allowing us to retake that advantage, to retake the momentum and put us kind of even footed when it comes to this next showdown. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, some other things about the GK, of course, uh, we are running the smaller guns. I don't know if those out there like the bigger guns, but for me, the faster reload time is what does it for me. The extra pen you pick up with the larger guns, it isn't that much in it. And it's not like you all of a sudden get to be able to penetrate Yamato where you usually wouldn't. It's it's fair all around. I would rather just have the quicker firing guns just, just as a way to uh, have that higher DPM and have more shots. Because, you know, German battleships, you're going to be missing a couple through dispersion. You might as well raise the number of shells you put out to increase the chance of being able to win it. Anyways... He launches his fighter craft. Interesting that he has opted for uh, for a fighter plane as opposed to anything else. We almost get all the way back up to full health, which is very good. Kind of putting us, like I said, on that even footing. And now we are just going to try to find our angle, try to see what he wants to do, and try to do our best in this brawl. We've already swung our guns all over to starboard. All of his are over to starboard as well. So we've kind of lined each other up on the broadside, but we're going to kind of try to keep angling in right here trying to minimize the damage he can do us we look for that bow shot down where the turrets are try to maybe knock one of the turrets if we uh, go high we do get a nice chunk of damage at him and we're continuing just trying to keep that angle now for those astute seamen may notice an issue with our plan to maintain angle yeah it's the island dead ahead and uh as as we've alluded to before not exactly the quickest rotating turrets nor the quickest rotating rudder does this ship have so uh boink there we go we are kind of up on this duel right now we do have the advantage uh hit points wise though he does take us for a large smack there we're going to return the favor with two of our shells there he returns the favor broadsides out this is just a slugfest at this point we are hoping that he's kind of using the larger shells just because we're getting a little bit quicker reload, I think, out than him. We're also hoping that he sets a third fire on us because we are running the uh, the special perk that puts out fires if your damage control is uh, on cooldown. 
but one of those fires subsides, so we're back down to one. We're waiting on those rear guns to be able to engage again. We don't want to show too much broadside just because we saw how much damage can be done. GK does have the the highest DPM broadside in the game, so you don't want to play around with it uh, when it's full broadside, but we do get a pretty good hit right there. We are both, once again, having that double heal, so we're both slowly regaining little chunks of health, but we are doing a pretty good job of keeping him nailed down. He's turning out, definitely indicating he's gonna try to use all of his guns. We fire first, fire second, and that ends the game. And yeah, guys, that's uh, that's some arena action. Like I said, GK, not my favorite, but it was a fun time. Y'all, if you like this video, go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.